Since we posted our video on our DIY chicken coop, I've had a lot of people ask me how we set up the sliding chicken door. So today I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so what we did here is I wanted to make this as cheap as I possibly could. So we just used some old plywood that we had laying around. And the first thing I did is I didn't know how big to make this hole. And I knew that eventually I wanted to upgrade to an automatic chicken door. So I got on Amazon and I found the automatic chicken door that I eventually wanted to buy. And I'll link that one down in the description. And if you look at the Amazon description of that chicken door, it'll tell you exactly how big of a hole to cut for that specific door. And that's why I went with this size hole. So that way eventually I can just pull all this stuff off and I can mount that new chicken door. Next, what I did is I made the door itself. And what I did is I made it extra long. However long it was supposed to be, I added just a few inches there up at the top. I honestly don't know why I think it was it doesn't really matter how how tall the door is I guess the next issue I found myself finding was I didn't know how to make an actual trap for this door to slide up and down in and I'm not really a carpenter or a builder whatsoever and I got on YouTube and I found a few different videos and I kind of did a combination of a few of them so this is what I came up with so I cut out four pieces of wood that were the exact same size and that's these four right here so one two and then three four so these are all four, the same exact size. And what I did is I just overlapped them, but staggered them a little bit. So this one, I just put halfway down the, the one before it. And what that does is it allows for a little track for that door to slide down. I just drilled these boards together and then into the coop. So I put a screw at the bottom, put a screw at the top, drilled them together and into the coop on both sides. And when I did that, I made sure that I set it up to where this, these back ones were just barely like an eighth of an inch bigger or wider than the door itself is. So really you can make this any size you want, but when you mount these to your coop, you wanna make sure that you set these up about an eighth of an inch or so, maybe a half an inch wider than your actual door itself. See, this isn't gonna let the door fall out or slide around at all. So it can go up and it can go down, but it can't go forward or backward. That was kind of the idea there. Well, the next issue I ran into is I needed somewhere for the door to stop. <laughs> so right here, I just took an old piece of wood that we had in the garage and I mounted that at the bottom. So then when I close this thing, which I'll show you guys in a minute, when I close this thing, it stops right there on that piece of wood and doesn't keep going down to the ground. When I open this thing, I needed it to have a stop. I didn't want to open it and then have the door itself slide out the top of this track. And so when it opens, it actually opens up and hits these two screws here. See that? So what I did is I set those screws to where when this is all the way up and just about an inch from being at the top of that track, I drilled some screws in right there. So that way when I open it, that's the stopping point. All right, the next issue I ran into is I didn't want to come inside the run anytime I wanted to open and close that. So I needed a way to hold it open and be able to open and close it from the outside of the run. So what I did here is I put a little eyelet right here, but what you can do is you can just drill a hole straight through the board and then just do it that way. You don't need an eyelet, but I had some eyelets laying around. So I tied that to the eyelet. And if you follow the line up, I've got another eyelet right here. And let me back up so it gives you guys some reference. The line goes up, I put an eyelet right there in the top of the coop. And then that eyelet takes the line out towards the front there. So let me walk around and show you guys what that looks like over there. Okay, so now we're on the outside of the coop. So if you look there, the line goes up, you follow it over here. This goes to the front of the coop, or I put one more eyelet to wrap it around the front side of the coop. So what I did is I pulled the string tight to where the door was touching the screws at the top there. And then I backed off about one or two inches just to drop it down just a little bit. So it wasn't just putting too much pressure on those screws. Once I got to that point where it was just resting below the screws, I put a mark or I put an eyelet right next to that mark to where when I wanna open this thing, I can just open it clip it on and the doors open. Another reason why you want to leave a little bit of space above the door, in between the door and the, the stopping screws. When I pull on this screen, it raises the, the door, right? Well, sometimes to get this off, you kind of have to pull a little bit to get it off. So you want to make sure you have some extra room there, if that makes any sense. <laughs> now to close this thing, it's super easy. I just pull this here. You've got your string that goes there. And really, I just can let it down and it's closed, just like that. So then when I come out in the morning, I can just come out, grab my carabiner, open up my coop, just like that, and my door is open. All right, I really hope that made sense to everybody. I really wanted to like pull this whole thing apart and make like a big in-depth video on how to do it. I just haven't had the time and I felt like this is gonna be better than just not making a video at all. <laughs> so hopefully you guys can understand this and just know that I'm definitely not like a professional at any of this. This is just what works for me. What I would really appreciate is if you guys could go down in the comments and let me know how I could make this even better 
that would be really awesome and I'd really appreciate it. I hope this video can at least get you on the right track to make yourself a chicken door. Now, if you're interested in how to make kind of a cheaper DIY chicken coop, I'm talking a really big <laughs> DIY chicken coop, watch this video right here. I go through how we made ours and I mean, the inside of our coop is 10 feet by eight feet. So it's a really big area to keep a lot of chickens. It's worked great for us. We love it. So go ahead and check that out and I'll see you guys next time.